LG makes it easy with your new four-door French door refrigerator when needing to move it from one room into another. Before you start, measure your door opening. If your door opening isn't wide enough, you may have to remove the doors on the unit to easily pass the entry. In some cases, you may have to remove the brackets as well. The tools needed are a small flat blade screwdriver, a small Phillips head screwdriver, gloves, small ladder, and a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Turn the water valve off that connects to the refrigerator water line. Dispense any remaining water left in the water line. Unplug the unit from the wall outlet and make sure the refrigerator is empty before attempting to move the unit. We'll first start with the freezer drawer. Fully extend and remove the lower shelf beneath the pullout drawer with both hands on each end and pull it up and out to clear it from the support rails and set it aside. Remove the lower basket and set this aside. Remove the Phillips head screw located on the outside rail as shown here using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Do this on both sides. With both hands, grab each end of the inside freezer drawer, tilt and lift it off the rail tabs located on the inside of the rails. Once removed, carefully set this aside. Caution: Do not lift or carry any of the doors or drawer by the handle for this may cause damage to the door, drawer, handle, property or self. Push the rails back, setting them into a closed door position. They're spring loaded. Press and pull out the rail a small amount to test the movement. It should spring back into position and will not come out during transport. Use tape on the ends of the pullout drawer to keep it from coming out when moving the unit. Next, we will remove the custom chill drawer. Pull the drawer out to a full extension. Grab each end of the custom chill bin with both hands to lift and tilt the shelf up and out. On the inside right of the rail is a plug that connects to your custom chill drawer control panel. Disconnect and remove this by pressing in the small tab located here and pull apart. Be careful not to tug or pull on the wire when disconnecting the plug that connects to the custom chill drawer. Tilt and lift up the drawer using both hands on each end of the inside drawer. Carefully set this aside. We will now remove the upper doors. Reminder, unplug the refrigerator power cord from the wall outlet as mentioned before. This must be done before attempting to remove the doors. We'll start with the left door. Behind the refrigerator is the water line, which needs to be disconnected first by pressing down the small gray clip on top of the collet and pulling apart the water hose. Using a small ladder or stool, locate the hinge cover on the top left side of the refrigerator. Remove the single small Phillips screw using a small Phillips head screwdriver. Now remove the cover. The water line hose, as shown here, is now ready to be removed. Go ahead and pull the water hose out. There are two main electrical connections that need to be disconnected. For the small square six pin, press the tab as shown and pull it apart. For the large wide connector, squeeze the tabs on each end and pull apart. Be careful not to tug or pull on the wires connected to the plugs. Next, the green ground wire shown here needs to be disconnected. Caution, make sure you had unplugged the unit from the wall outlet before attempting to remove the green ground wire. With a Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw and pull the wire out of its position. Next, you're going to turn the lever shown here counterclockwise to loosen the hinge. Use a flat blade screwdriver or Phillips head screwdriver underneath as leverage to help lift up the top hinge if needed. Pull the wires out from the side of the hinge and set the hinge aside. Be sure to hold the upper doors during this process, for it may have come loose during the hinge removal. Caution: The doors can be heavy, so it is recommended to have someone there to help you. Slowly open the door with both hands and lift the door off from the bottom hinge and carefully set the door aside on a soft protected surface. Now to remove the right side of the door. Remove the Phillips head screw and lift the second hinge cover off. Push the tabs on both the electrical connectors as shown to disconnect them. Turn the lever clockwise and separate the wires from the hinge as you lift the hinge off. Using both hands, lift the right door off the hinge and carefully set it aside on a soft protected surface. You should now be able to push the refrigerator through the door. If you find the doorway to be narrower than expected, you might have to remove the hinge brackets located near the middle of the refrigerator where the doors sit. Use a 10 mm socket wrench and small Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew the bolts and single Phillips head screw from the hinge on both sides. The refrigerator should now be able to clear the entry with the hinge brackets removed. To reinstall the doors, just follow the steps shown in reverse. To reinstall the freezer drawer, extend the freezer rails. The freezer drawer has to be seated correctly onto all four rail tabs as shown here. 
Take the freezer drawer with both hands on each end and be sure to fully engage the hooks into the rail tabs in order to set the drawer properly. Lock them into place using a single Phillips head screw on the outside of each rail. Test the drawer by opening and closing. It should move fluidly. LG makes it easy to maneuver in close corners and tight spaces. Thank you for watching our customer support video. We hope you enjoy your LG experience.